Morning everybody, this is Mark from Mark's Home Hobbies saying how are you doing today? I just wanted to show you uh, the latest day's worth of scrapping that I came home with after riding my seven or my uh, 500 watt uh, 20 inch folding 48 volt 12 and a half amp uh, front and rear suspension e-bike with a homemade uh, crate on the back there. Yeah, I got to get some better light in here because this light is terrible in this garage. But yeah, anyway, there she sits. And I did finally run the battery out yesterday to the point where I have to pedal. And uh, once you get down to one bar on the battery level, um, your speed is going to be greatly reduced on the controller no matter how hard you push on the throttle or what pedal assist setting you have so yeah you'll find it very difficult to make it home if you have a load on there and uh, you run out of battery so yeah, I did pedal quite a bit yesterday I was stuck about maybe a mile or a mile and a half from my house so I had to do the last mile and a half on pedal power and whoa yeah she weighs a lot and those tires are a lot of friction those wide tires so be aware of that when you're riding your uh, 20 inch folding fat tire electric bike. Here's some of the stuff that I found. Uh, I found this nice grip of uh, copper tubing there. When it has a couple brass fittings on there, which I'll chop off so I can get some uh, clean copper for it. Um, I also found a guy that had a bucket full of hatchets. And there's a brand new axe blade there. And there's a a little handheld hatchet which I can take down and clean up and sharpen. I'm going to have me a nice little handheld hatch, hatchet to go up north to the RV up in the upper part of Michigan there. And when I go camping I'll be able to chop me some wood. There's some fine grip of number two wires off some vacuum cleaners and refrigerators and coffee pots, microwaves, that type of stuff. Good grip of wires there, it's just for a day's worth of work, which actually is about maybe three hours of riding time up and down the streets within a mile or two, maybe three of the house. So a lot of streets, covered a lot of territory. Got about 300 miles on the hay bike now. And uh, still seems to be running real strong, real nice. Everything's working just fine. Um, yeah, and then here's a what the other stuff that I got, which is a bunch of other nice copper wire there, and all this nice fine bright clean copper right there from an air conditioner installation and removal. Uh, I got that. I don't know if it's data cable or if it's just small stuff, but probably going to end up going in this box along with that wire there. All going to probably go for number two because it's a big mix. And uh, that piece of piping there, I'll get rid of that. And that's just tin shred. But that whole carton right there is full. Number two, it's pretty good weight. Probably at least 50 pounds, 60 pounds. At a buck, buck and a quarter, something like that, a pound now. I think copper insulated number two is down a little bit from what it was. But still... Uh, we're looking at about maybe sixty, seventy dollars worth of copper wire all day long there. And by the time you add all this, and probably about maybe, oh, uh, maybe about thirty, forty dollars worth right there between all that pipe over there and this right here. Probably about yeah, maybe maybe thirty, forty dollars worth. So not all bad, you know. If we could get a hundred dollars. Over $100 worth out of this, it makes the three days that I went out looking around for a couple hours a day, just, you know, putzing around the neighborhood, makes that all pretty much worthwhile. Cuts the price of the bike down by $100. <laughs> so anyways, uh, yeah, not to mention all the other cool little stuff that I find that I showed in some other videos too. So uh, anyways, just thought you guys might want to see what I've been up to the last couple of days. And uh, apparently nobody was interested in my uh, hot water installation, my hot water on demand installation video. So I took it down. 
if anybody's interested in that video, you can always message me or whatever and you know, just leave a comment on the video saying you want it back and I'll see if I can find it or I'll just make a new one. So anyways, yeah, when they don't get any views, then I just take them down from now on, you know, so. Okay, hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. This is Mark from Mark's Home Hobbies. Later.